Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Today we're going to make a very simple paracord keychain. It's super, super simple and I'm going to teach you how to do it in just three easy steps. For this project, you're going to need a key ring, a carabiner clip, 550 pound paracord, a clipboard, a lighter, and a ruler. You should know that every inch of paracord that's braided is 13 inches of cord. So to get one inch of braid, you need 13 inches of cord. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, I'm gonna make this a little shorty because this doesn't need to be very long, uh, just to give you guys the, the lay of the land with this. So I'm gonna use actually mm, 48 inches. So measure your length, 24, and then just fold it in half. And that gives you 48. I could even do this a little bit smaller, which I might, but I want you guys to get the hang of the stitch. We're gonna be using a Cobra stitch. Today, I've got a clipboard, and I'm gonna be doing this facing you so that this will be exactly how you would be doing it, but understand that it's upside down for me. I also have my little cheat sheet. This is what I call under and over, and this is all about the stitch because you either start on an over or you start on under, and this is my little cheat sheet that teaches me how to do that. First thing first, you're gonna take your carabiner here and just feed your cord that I've got folded in half here through and reach through and pull through the two loose strands and just pull. Now, now this would be where you would use your ruler and measure however long you want it to be. So let's say we're gonna go about three inches here or two inches. We can even go just two inches right there. We're gonna end up with a little extra, but that's okay. So you want to feed your two loose ends through the keychain so that they're facing down. Then flip it and put the keychain through and clip it up here underneath your um, clipboard. Okay, so I got my two inches there. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make a little shorty. So imagine that the keychain is your head. These are your arms. Right? You're always, always, always going to start on the right hand side. Unless you're left handed, then you can start on the left hand side, but then you'll always be starting on the left hand side. Always start on your right and always start with an over stitch. So you go one arm over the body. So this is your body over the body. And it's like you're making an elbow. See your elbow over the body. This arm goes over the arm. So over, over. Then you go under the body and through the elbow. This should create a pretzel. Pull the pretzel so it's nice and tight. Congratulations, you just did your very first stitch. There you have it. Pull that tight. Okay, now again, remember, always with the right, Flip this over, now you go under, and this arm goes under. Then you go over the body and through the elbow. And pull tight. See your stitch starting? Flip it over. Over, over, under, and through. So you start getting this little rhythm. Flip it over. Under, under, over, and through. There's your pretzel. Flip it over. Over, over, under, and through. And flip it over. Under, under, over, and through. I think we can probably get one more stitch here. So flip it over, 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 under, and through. Now, as I was telling you, the reason I did 48 inches is because I was thinking I would do like a, a three or four inch one of these, but I decided to make it a little shorter just so we could jam on through this. Okay, pull it really tight. Pull this one out of here. Snip pretty close. 
about, you know, about, about an eighth of an inch. That's all you want to do. We are going to seal this by using a heat source. Now, if you want to, you can use a glue gun, because I know some people don't like to use uh, flame. So you can just use a little glue gun and put like a, a glue dot right here and just touch it real close to it and it'll heat it up enough that it'll, it'll seal. But we're going to actually use a flame, so make sure you have adult supervision for this. And I'm going to take the flame and I'm just going to lightly touch it to the edge here. And as you can see, it starts to melt. There you go. See how it's melting there? And do the opposite side. There you have it. A survival keychain. It'll help you survive high school. <laughs> For more great ideas, come and check us out at sophie-world.com. And if you like us, make sure you give us a thumbs up. And hey, share us with your friends. Make sure you subscribe so that you're first on the block to know when we put up a new video. For more things, check us out at sophie-world.com.